What's up guys, hey, LMD back with another video and today we're talking about how free roam in the new LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game is going to completely change it and make it a completely different feel to the games that we know and love like the complete saga. Real quick guys, if you do love content like LEGO Star Wars, Zelda, or Destiny 2, please be sure to subscribe down below because we have a bunch of content on the channel, but let's get right into the video. So the LEGO Star Wars franchise is one of the most historic games for TT Games and Warner Bros. Games, and it's been one of their most successful franchises throughout the years, and I'm sure a bunch of you guys watching this video have experience with the older games or have a lot of fond memories from playing those games when you were younger. However, TT Games has really chosen to go away from that older system that we had and known in the Complete Saga and then the games previous to that, where you have some sort of central hub area, and then you walk into doors based on what episodes they are, and then each episode has six different levels where you can go in and do the level that ha pertains to that part of the story. And that's basically how it works, and there was, uh, eventually it became free play, and then you could unlock other characters. But free play is different than free roam, and that is what they're going for in the new Skywalker saga. And I've got a whole video on this, but basically what they're doing is, they're just making it so the universe, the entire galaxy of Star Wars, is open. You can go from planet to planet in your ship. You can change characters. You can go from Coruscant to, I believe, Mustafar's in the game. You can go to Bespin. You can go to all these different places in the Skywalker saga. And it's really going to change the game. It's really going to make it a completely different feel to what it was back in 2007 when it released. Now, this is by no means a bad change on the part of the developers. I think this is a fantastic change, and it's really going to increase the longevity and the playability of the game. This turns it into a game where it's not just playing the story. It's not just going through the levels and trying to unlock certain characters. It turns it into a game where you can explore the entire world of Star Wars that people have always wanted to explore. It makes it to where it's more interesting and fun because you're doing smuggling free roam missions, and you're doing... Uh, missions where you have to try to complete a bounty on somebody that's in the galaxy and you have to go find them and in doing this that is going to get you to unlock different characters it's going to get you to unlock different vehicles it makes it much more interesting in the way you unlock characters the way you unlock vehicles as opposed to just buying them with the spud money that you used to get in the last game or having to look up their code online so you can unlock them it's going to really change the aspect of the game and the way people play it consistently whereas before, everyone was just kind of jumping into the levels. You'd try to find everything in the levels, and in doing so, you can unlock other characters. But now, I'm sure that's still going to be in the game when the levels, the main story missions are there. But when you're in the free roam mode and you're traveling throughout the galaxy, it's going to be a lot more different in the mechanics as to how you play with other characters, how you unlock different things, how you progress sort of your profile to make it more prestigious and make it more cool and try to unlock everything. Then not only is it going to change the way you play, but it's the universe around you is going to change depending on what part of the story you're in, which is going to make it extremely unique because it's basically going to give you multiple different sections of the universe to explore as the universe is going to ever so change based on what time period you're in. If you're in the prequel era, you can go to Coruscant, you can go to Naboo, and they're going to be just like how they were in the prequel area. Beautiful. Uh, Coruscant's going to be this great city with the Jedi Temple and all that stuff that you can go explore. But if you're exploring it somewhere in The Empire Strikes Back, it's not going to be the same. It's going to be completely different, and it's really going to change the way exploration works, and you're going to want to go around and explore the entire galaxy. So it changes the game from not just a story game to a major ex exploration game and story game that you're going to want to play nonstop. It's very similar to a Breath of the Wild feel with the exploration and kind of the story almost gets put to the side because we know those stories so well. But yeah, guys, that's what I think. I think this free roam change that their TT games have implemented into the game, I think it's going to be great and I think it's really going to improve the game's longevity and I hope you guys agree. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you disagree, that's all right. Just let me know what you think. Uh, if you did enjoy it and you want more content like this, uh, please be sure to subscribe down below. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like it. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.